the shit was reversed, and a woman got her uh, got a dude to pay for her education and all that shit. And then at the end was like, you know what? I feel like I'm better than this, and I need to move on. Mm. Right. If, and we were three women, we would be applauding. We we was yeah, oh, of course. And we yeah. would be like, good for you, sis. Get your sis. <laughs> yeah. that man, just because he paid does not that mean he owes mean you. He's so supposed I'm to love you. Now. You go, brother. Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we have my dude, Simeon Goodson. And here we discuss how dating game has changed in the last 10 years. Anything wrong with being a himbo? I don't know. Uh, a lot of you bitches is dirty. Uh, how men need women and how women need re- re- need men. How women set rules that they don't necessarily like and how secretly want men to lead. Uh, this is a good one. Don't forget, uh, if y'all want consultations, hit Harry at uh, iviceframharry at gmail.com or DanteNeroll.com. Click on consult. Don't forget to follow the Patreon. That's how you can support what we're doing and keep it going. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202 is where we do all of our bonus content. We are also archiving the old episodes of the show, starting from episode one all the way uh, to to the current day. And that's only going to be on Patreon.com. So Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do the bonus content over there. And this week we're doing a little listener mail with Simeon Goodson as we uh, answer a question about when it's appropriate to leave a relationship. So that's all at patreon.com slash manschool202. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, 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 GYB, we get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? And I am excited. Uh, this is a special show. I know I've said that. 500 times before, <laughs> but this time I mean it. Uh, we got a special guest, guest first and foremost. We say what's up to my man, my prince in power, mm. Sub Harry. Mm. The fuck is going on? Oh man, you know me, living the best life I can. Prince in power, I like that. PIP? PIP, like nigga, pimping. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, now I know what I'm going to get on my vanity plate. You got it. You on got my it. Honda Accord. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna soup up. I'm gonna buy 97. Oh, you, oh, you got court. four doors now. Yeah. Nigga, oh, exhibition. Ex- ex- exhibit is is back in the game. Is yeah, he's pimping back my in ride. The game? He's pimping my ride. He's gonna put a fish tank in the back. Yo, uh, get, and, make sure you get that margarita uh, machine. <laughs> that's that's what you need in a don't, Corolla. Don't don't sleep on that show. People forgot about Exhibit pimping pimping the rides, where he would mm-hmm. take your car, your beat up piece of crap car, and then put a bowling alley in the back. Yeah, and, and then gotta just do it. send you back to your shitty neighborhood where your car was clearly going to be stolen. <laughs> <laughs> now you. You know, those cars didn't even get stolen. They, the cars was just fucked up. Like they give you shit back worse. Yeah, yeah, because they didn't work on the engines, right? Right. They just took out the transmission and put an yeah. ice cream machine in. Yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't fix the anti-lock brakes, but I hope you like ping pong. Right. <laughs> you caught on the road and went you got ice cream, nigga. Who got so, who got soft serve on the on the highway? Nobody. Just us. We just... took off your wheels and we. Put hamburger grill. <laughs> like, nigga, what? <laughs> Give it, yo, uh, let me introduce my guest. He's already in the game, I guess. So, <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot. <laughs> what up, Sam? Give it up for Sam. What up, Clem. y'all? Simeon, what up, baby? It's good Get to have you back, back, brother. What would yeah. Dante do? What's good? Uh, you know it. You know <laughs> it. That's what it is. How you been, family? Come on. You know what it is. It's summertime. Everybody looking for some, you know, but it's too hot. <laughs> you like searching for gooch, cool. Yeah, gooch. but it's too hot. You finally catch it. You like, I can't do nothing with it. It's nah, too nah, hot. Let me, yo, call me in all <laughs> September. You gotta put it in the freezer. <laughs> no, no, there's whole relationships. There's whole relationships that are only together right now because somebody has air conditioning. <laughs> and they are, uh. they are waiting. To Labor Day to break it off. You're like you don't even know. There's people on borrowed time right now. <laughs> the only thing keeping your relationship together is that you have an AC. Uh, little sidebar. I keep uh popsicle sticks in the fucking fridge. Nothing like a little cold pussy on a <laughs> just cold. the sticks. Hold on, just the just, sticks. Just the stick, man. Boop, 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 boop. 
And you're like, ah. You can't even get popsicle sticks unless you have like a medical license. They don't even sell those. <laughs> oh, you meant, oh, I thought, see, you know, my mind. That's, yeah. This is funny because everybody grew up with a different icy. I was thinking about the ones just in a plastic <laughs> tube. Yeah, you think, oh, no, nah, you can't. Open. Yeah, 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 you can't. Oh, you talk, those. You talking about the push, you talking about the orange push-ups. Right, just the joints you had in the corner. The corner. Oh, nah, nigga, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, freezies. I'm going straight blow pops. You know that. Okay, okay. Uh, there you go. So you think I don't know where you at. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it's so hot, you shove a, a Choco Taco up there, whatever it is, as long as it's cooling, man. No, nah, that's going to cool. be, Choco Taco's got nuts in it, so that's not going to be a good time. Mm. Nigga, that's, that's it. Discontinue. Yeah, and then there's <laughs> nuts and sprinkles. You don't want to do that. Just go with the, go oh, with the, oh, with the blow pop. Go with the blow pop. Straight Pick blow with pop. the blow pop. There's gum in the middle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Once it melts, there's a second surprise in there. You leave the pussy with some gum in it. That's the, that's like, the well, man. Nigga, you just, <laughs> you be at the at the at the comedy club chewing. You're like, yo, nigga, where the bubble gum from? <laughs> what what fifty year old nigga is eating bubble gum? Why you really? You buying <laughs> hubba bubble? Mind your business, yo. Don't worry about don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> oh God, Sim. Sim is in the. Living the single life, my nigga. Uh, uh, how's it going, baby? How's it going? It's go. I mean, uh, well, my kids was here. You know, my kids come up for the summer. Oh, well, here they so go. They, but they live down <laughs> south. They live in. Uh, they live down south, so their summer's different from ours. So they come up in June, uh -huh. and then they just left right. because they start in school in like two weeks. So it's like. They be up here, but it's not really like New York summer yet. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like they kind of throw off those last little bit of spring pussy you can get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you know, July hit. You know, I'm 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 four, I'm in my forties, man. I, I get on a team too hot real fast. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not going outside on a date. Yeah. I'm not, you know. Yeah, you're not wanna, you're not walking on the up. You're not going to the, the to the the farmers market. You know, right? Yeah, <laughs> like we go to the beach. Yeah, and we can sit on opposite sides of the couch in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, as you get older, you go wherever we're going. We, there's got to be seats. There's no more of this hanging out at the club, just standing around for three hours. I'm right. not doing that. I, got, I, I go seats. one better, nigga. I got an AC in the kitchen. I'm put it. <laughs> I'm not playing, nigga. I'm not. I'm not even cook. I'm not even making a sandwich hot, nigga. You come in my, but you can hang meat up in my closet, nigga. This is I keep it sixty two. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's just you can't hear shit because all because it's a it's a you know it's window ACs. You know how niggas is. so it's everything is humming. Right. Whole walls rumbling. I don't care, nigga. As long as I'm. I don't want, I want to feel when I sweat, I want to feel the sweat driving, drying when it come out. I want it to just, I feel it, I feel it leaving. So, shit, I, I got the, I, man, I keep the popsicle sticks right out on the coffee table. I don't, it just, I don't even got to put them in the, I don't even got to put them in the fridge. <laughs> But uh, then, Sammy, the, what's the dating been like? What's what? How's it been for you? Because last year, is like, back. He back in the game too. Yeah, so I don't know. I want to hear because I mean uh, I haven't. Oh man, this is like dating. when Jordan came back. You know when he when he came back from retirement. <laughs> that's that's no, what we're it's talking not like about. that because Jordan came back worse. Okay. Oh, like so basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, basketball is not the same. I was. It's more like when like an actor come back. How about you know this? I mean? when, Kobe, when Kobe came back after the Achilles it's like, it's like when like John Travolta came back with a uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh, mm -hmm. you like, okay. Because remember before that, like, yeah, yeah. he wasn't fucking with him. He did, yeah, yeah. you know, he did the disco shit. And then for years and years, people was just like, we not fucking with John Travolta. But yeah. then he did Pulp Fiction, and then people wanted to fuck with him again. So, like, it was more that type yeah, of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like, I came back, and they was like, oh, remember this nigga? So <laughs> then, <laughs> and I'll start, you know. But it's just, I don't know, dating's too hard, man, because everybody, like, women hate men now. Like, men hate women. Like, we all just hate each other. Everybody's just horny. 
<laughs> Mad <laughs> nigga, angry fucking. Yeah, right. you did, yeah, you did leave in a, You came before. back and the game is totally different now, right? Yeah, I, mean, I you, the, the, COVID. How long were you married or how long were you with your Ten years. Ten years. So you missed out on a big transition of ten years. Like it was a, t- it's a tough ten years to be out of. But it was like it was like that tech. It was like a technological transition. You know what I mean? It's like that you too. invent you invent the airplane, right? And then uh-huh. it take a long time to get like the single and, engine airplane. Nigga, you, you at the, the single you, engine airplane. Boom! Now you at space shuttles. You know what I mean? So it's Simeon, like Simeon was in the game when the Wright brother was around. He, right. he knew them niggas. The right. niggas they was up the I block. Knew about flight. <laughs> <laughs> niggas was up the block, but. Yeah. You didn't know Boeing. <laughs> Boeing. Right. I ain't know niggas. I ain't know about, you Simeon, know, SpaceX. <laughs> Simeon's like a guy who just got released from jail and now is like all this new technology. The ATMs are out there. There's iPhones. He's like, I don't know what to do here. I'm right. out of my, remember, I'm out of my depth. Remember, I'm going to get you, sucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. There With the platforms on. That was me, nigga. I'm just yeah. outside my pimp suit. But I, I, one thing I will say, what's, what I think is crazy, is Elo. I think when you're older, you don't get like you don't realize the power you got just from the wisdom and the the settledness of your of your personality. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, that's absolutely true. Because I got married when I was I got married when I was 30, but I was dating her before that. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. like, Like we met in our 20s. You know, you in your 20s, you got it all figured out. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know everything. You got yeah, everything. It was locked down, so I was like, "Bet we're gonna get married, had a kid, had a kid, boom, 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 live happily ever right. after." Right. So I'm done. <laughs> I don't even got to do it no more. But then coming back in the, you know, in your forties, I mean, it was, it's, it, it was, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But like, women are weird now. It's, I don't know. The whole shit is weird because it's like. Before there was an expectation of dishonesty. Okay, you know what explain I mean? that. Explain that. Where you just like you know you trying to lie to a bitch to, to convince <laughs> her. You know what I mean? It's like now nah, you know I'm gonna take you to this. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the studio. Yo, I I'm like you. This. My Good album enough. come out. My album come right, out. Right, oh. right. I'm working with this nigga. I'm on Dante's podcast. And <laughs> the, I'm not, all right, uh, lying is not right, but like embellishment. Like you were kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. trying and be that nigga. Like, that's how we came up. Like, you were just outside. Like, nah, bitch, fuck out of here. Nah, me and my mans, we about to start this record label. So it's like, you know, we, you just kind of making shit bigger. We got to go to like, we gotta go to China, work on the, the, the distribution for the clothing line. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> but now everybody's so sad and depressed <laughs> that they think you flex it when you do that. So now you go on the danger scene to talk about how bad you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to look like a fucking, you know. You don't want to like look a show like a off. You don't want to like, show oh, off. Nigga, my dog died. My mom's <laughs> is sick. Like that's how you bag bitches now. You're like, I'm all confused <laughs> about my sexuality. I'm sad. Uh, everything's going wrong. The, the ocean's on fire. Next thing you know, you get your dick sucked in the bathroom. You're like, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I want to see that map. The global warming plus my dog died plus right. plus uh, uh future white supremacy right uh, uh, right the the future is fucked up for the kids equal carry yeah. the what hand get job my, in the coat room. get my dick suck in the bathroom <laughs> we only we we about to die baby let's let's go for it stop what else we got mm. if we don't have us what we got nothing. That's it. That's what. Simeon yeah. is just sta- in order to prepare for a date. He's just watching uh, that Al Gore documentary about global warming, just <laughs> on, on a loop. <laughs> nah, just- I got a mixtape. I got the uh, I, in the eyes of an angel, where you just watch the puppies, sick puppies. <laughs> Sarah, Mag- Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> I watched that shit on loop before a date, and then I just show up destroyed. Oh, crying, <laughs> actively crying. I, 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 you don't want it too much. Eyes watery. What? Uh, just watery. Right, like I just finished crying. Like the dog. <laughs> like you know, the dog with one with one eye. He got the, he got the wet eye. Uh, it's so you show up. She's like, let's get out of here. You look like you've been going through it. You're like, I don't want to talk about. It. I'm just so distraught. 
at the world. Get your dick sucked in the park. <laughs> Everything that Simeon does ends up with his dick sucked somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, it, it's helping a little. It it's helped. helping a little. It's helping. A little. Could you could you gag a little bit? <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> rub, rub the skin behind my ball. <laughs> Real quick. Could you, could you make this noise? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Just poke a little bit for the, for the puppy. <laughs> you know what's funny? Here's the thing what I don't... Uh, so... Yeah, I, Sim. You know, you always. I, I, I'm. 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 I'm gonna say this because I'm. I'm comfortable with my, my, my sexuality. You always on my mind, my nigga. And I mean, <laughs> you a good dude. You always on my mind. I always. I stand. appreciate you. It's always I, a blessing seeing you outside. Yeah, man. You. You know. You know that I met you. You know the first time I met you. Like I was hearing about you, but I met you. You and I did this barbecue joint. Used to be the stand. Remember when okay. the stand was a barbecue joint? The one in Queens? No, the stand, the stand comedy club. The OG one? Yeah, yeah. The, no, no, the the new one. You know that was a the barbecue joint. The current one. The Prior current to one. it being the stand. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. And I mean, you and I, I did a gig look. there in the basement. Okay. You don't okay. remember? That's dope, that. And that, and that's where I met. That's the first time I met you, nigga. I was oh, like, that's oh. dope. Yeah, it was a little room, a little kind of black box room in the basement, right? right? Probably where the, you know, probably where the where the the, the main stage room is now. But it was okay. there, it would go down the stairs and it was the barbecue place. I forget. Harry, you remember the name of the spot? No, nah, man, I don't. I, I didn't play it before. It was a stand. I only know it as a stand. Yeah, it was a barbecue joint, and then somebody had a room down. And you and I was on the show, and that, that's the first time we met. But it's like there's always you always fun. To be, you know, just it's always fun, and I and I think what what a lot of people don't understand is the the joy that you have in your life. I mean, the, that we all have in our life is what keeps us young. You know, I'm thing. I, I was thinking about this the other day. I'm 57, right? And right. when I tell people I'm 57, they're like, "Nigga, what?" I'm like, "Nigga, because I stay laughing and joking and." Yeah, I mean, we did 15 minutes on <laughs> getting your duck and dick sucked. <laughs> and, and it's one of those things, it's laughter and joy that is right here happening right now. It will never happen again, right? And, right. and that was for this moment. And then we'll go do it another time with another dude. And you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we have. Well, back in the day, you know, like, like when I was little, fifty-seven-year-olds ain't look like you. No, no, no. They just like they just say themselves that like a fifty-seven-year-old and shit was over for that. Nigga. Finish. You just waiting to die, right? He was <laughs> on his last leg. He was done so. So it was like, and honestly, like that's like also kind of like a thing going out and performing still because it was like when I was like. If I saw like a forty-two year old when I started, I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Yeah, and yeah, like, God yeah. Damn, you ain't making now. You're done. But yeah, yeah. You know, we got the internet and all that shit now, so we yeah. can like we keep going. Like, and then they got now they got the strikes and all that shit happening, and it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, now you really got to double down on your own shit. On your and own we already shit. got the experience because nigga, we had MySpace and. Dude, we had cups on strings, like we had it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had technology from the jump, so it was like I heard a, I heard an interview from. If I could call Dante. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, here's the thing: when I was when I was stripping, I had I didn't have you know this is pre cell phone, right? And I had so many chicks calling my mom's phone, <laughs> right? She gave me the number. And got another one. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> she's like, I can't, I can't, I, I don't even, I, I can't even use my damn phone. So she just gave me the number. She was like, Yo, we gonna get another joint. You keep that one. My mom gave me a number when uh, AOL came out. Oh yeah. Oh, so because then I was yeah. just, I was just online all the time, so she couldn't even get a call. Like you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Was, every time she hung up the phone, I was on that shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right on it, waiting for porno. <laughs> <laughs> Slow with a with dial up porno is not good, nigga. That's nah, dial up porno was a wave because it was a community, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, now you go on Pornhub, 
it is what it is. You know, you get whatever you want. But back then, you had to go, like, meet people yeah. and be like, yo, what kind of porno you got? <laughs> this is the kind of porno I got. Like, you know what I mean? And like you porno to, like, con. It's right. Like, and you would have to, like, con. exchange with niggas. Like, you would send them one, and they would send you one. Uh -huh. You're like, ah, now you got the old shit. <laughs> Sim Simeon would treat that the porno thing the way like white old white dudes treat like the classic car thing on a Sunday where they all get together and talk shop. <laughs> like, oh, that's nice. That's a good one. Huh? Yeah. Jesus, it was all of us. <laughs> and then you would have cute because that's that's why you had a porn folder. Yeah, on yeah, your yeah. Computer yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Access to that shit to, to make these trades. You yeah, know what I, I mean? I just and moved this is, and I this is what happened with all these old old dudes that you catch with these big giant terabytes of porn right, because right. they've just been collecting right, so right, right. long. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, when you collect something, if even if it's something stupid, like you went made effort. So these niggas yeah. is keeping that shit. Yeah, they yeah, like, yeah, ah, yeah. son, yeah. I need. <laughs> and then one little kid, one little eight-year-old is stuck right. in that and you done, nigga. <laughs> right. right. But I, I have, man, I just moved and I threw away Maybe I don't know 150 DVDs. Ooh. Like I had a, I had the book, you know, the book where they would get yeah, the yeah, yeah. four up and the. Black. <laughs> like I had Ashesly Delicious one to sixty eight, one to seventy nine. <laughs> All eighty parts came out in four months. <laughs> but here, here's a, here's a something that's funny. I was um. This is, I mean, I wish I remember her name, but I, I, she's such a sweet girl. But I remember when she came, she came from the Midwest, right? And she was just so bright. And I, you know this girl, too. I can't even remember how to describe a white girl, blonde, um, really pretty smile, gra glasses, kind of goofy, used to wear a daisy in her hair. And she came from New York and she was all goofy and happy, and then five years later, New York had beat her down like nigga. There was no uh, twinkle in her eye, and I'm and right. I'm sitting with her, and I'm just, you know, what I mean? like she's still one of those people that is still happy go lucky, but like if you some, like got kicked in the pussy, you know, like, <laughs> like but still <laughs> met the wrong nigga, <laughs> just man, just like, and so it's like when you're older, you you um. You know, you just have a better understanding of things that you realize that you have so much control over your life and other people by the decisions you make. And I was she was like, yeah, I just, you know, she was telling me how this dude had me and it was really, really fucked up. And I mean, I damn, I'm tired of, you know, I'm tired of putting myself out and this and that and the other. And then she goes, uh, and I'm like, come on, you ain't you ain't there was no red flags. Come on. None. And she's like, no, no. I mean, I, I was like, come on. Let's be honest. There was no red flag. It's like a nigga that gets caught up selling drugs. Be like, yo, the system got nobody. Nobody told you. Nobody. Nobody told you not to hustle, sell drugs right. that is going to turn out. You know where right. no, you, made, no. you made a whole song about how you untouchable <laughs> and niggas will never stop how much drugs you sell. You called it untouchable, <laughs> and then you sent a, you left a copy on the the steps of City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> you said catch, you named your album "Catch Me If You Can." Bitches. <laughs> Fuck the police! Catch me if you can. The drugs is under the floorboards, right? <laughs> I wish you would find my stash at 522 Mulberry Street on the third floor behind the closet. You know, Dante, you talk about that. It's interesting. I, I forgot if I talked about this on the show, but like, you know, my girl comes to me with all her friends' relationship troubles. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and the one is dating was dating this dude, and the dude was just a bum, just using her for money, whatever. Finally, like she the guy ends up leaving her for somebody else after she paid for like a schooling to do whatever to get his de mechanic degree whatever and i'm like you know i feel bad but then i'm like there's red flags she missed a thousand red flags yeah and then <laughs> but she but how that's a red flag that's what? not even a red flag because you know what i'm gonna say this mm -hmm. if a woman if the shit was reversed and a woman got her got a dude to pay for her education 
and all that shit. And then at the end was like, you know what? I feel like I'm better than this and I need to move on. Right. Mm. Like, if and we were three women, we would be applauding. We we would say, yeah. oh, of course. And we yeah. would be like, good for you, sis. Bitch, yours, sis. <laughs> yeah. that man, just because he paid does not that mean he me owes that. you. He's so supposed I don't to love that you. Time in now. Mm. You go, brother. Good job. Get your education. <laughs> Save your money. Know your worth, King. Just because she paid for your education don't mean you owe her your life. Do you, King? <laughs> here's my. Here's what I say all the time. <laughs> the one nigga that we we should have T-shirts of, Kevin Federline. Mm. Kevin, uh, Kevin Federline is the only one. King of the hoes. He won the game. He's the king of the hoes. He won the game. This <laughs> nigga was a dancer, six pack. The nigga fat, got the kids and all the money. This Not movie. only that, but Britney on Instagram dancing crazy. <laughs> so now we, as a society, we, we have all we like, we like, thank God the kids is with Kevin Federline. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have ever thought that right. would be a statement? Thank God. <laughs> Thank God kids Kevin is with got Kev. <laughs> Kev got the kids. They're going to be all right. They fine. Woo. Thank Woo, God. God damn. Because... <laughs> Next thing you know, the kids, his hair is shaved half off <laughs> and they dancing in the TikTok. What's happening? I also do feel like as a society, we are entering our bitches ain't shit era. Oh, yeah. Like we are finally, as a society, acknowledging. That not all women are delicate princesses who need to be coddled and taken care of. Like a lot of you bitches is dirty <laughs> and tiny and fucked up. And a lot of y'all did shit too, niggas, that made us this oh, way. Oh, let me and tell you something. We're so starting we, to realize that. We and you know why for... we're realizing that? Why? Because a lot of women became lesbians and started fucking with each other. And, and they, they was, was like, like these oh. bitches ain't shit. <laughs> They was like, oh my God, they ain't shit. They was like, it was us the whole time. (laughs) Yes, it was, bitches. No, because they still going, oh no, it was them, not me. (laughs) Right. It's still the other bitches. It's not you. It's It's never you. It's not a culture. It's not an overall culture. But yeah, yeah. We, that, we we get in there. Like, once once we found out Meg Thee Stallion was actually having sex with Tory Lanez, it was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't right. And let me tell you, here's the, here's the kicker. So mm. you get, like, uh, Cardi. Cardi is telling, telling chicks, yo, get the money, drug that nigga. Put him to take his money, blah, blah, blah. But meantime, she's in the house cooking by the loud and cleaning the counters. Domestic, sweeping the floor, making her man food, <laughs> raising the baby. Sucking this nigga dick. Massages. Sucking this right. nigga dick always. Right. Looking good on the outside. Sucking this nigga. nigga cheated on her. He took a, he, she took him back. Like, that's, come on, look, she tricked she, you. She's Dominican. She wasn't even really that angry. She bitches just... <laughs> is susceptible to trickery from other bitches. Yeah. That's what I've learned recently. Like, you could go up to a woman and be like, yo, as a man, you go up and be like, yo, don't cross the light. It's red and there's a car coming. And she'd be like, do not mansplain to me. I'm going to stop. Like, I am the boom. Right. Boom. Get hit by the car. A woman will go up to another woman and be like, bitch, you can walk. Why you can't walk? Why you tell you he trying walk, to tell bitch. you? You <laughs> stroll across that. In street fact, bitch, hit. you better strut. You better strut. <laughs> and still get hit by that car, and then all the other bitches would be like, "Look what that man driver did to her." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, I you know what I'm gonna tell you what I always say the turning point was because at first it was believe all women. Which is, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. I know some bitches that I know would I would not believe. Like nigga, you don't believe this bitch. This bitch is definitely lying. This all she does is lie. Here's what. Here's what. <laughs> well, I here, mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt because I no, no, no. I, I know. I know what you're saying. You're saying if a woman says there's an attack, you you gotta follow believe, up. but you gotta follow I, up. I, yeah. I'm, I'm saying like yeah, like if somebody says this dude did something, go ask yeah. the dude. 
and figure out what happened right away. That's what that's what how I interpret believe all women. Right. Because a lot of times, like if she's like, Oh, he did something, you're like, shut up, bitch. He ain't yeah. do nothing. Well, and that's how it was like, before. That that that's what right. was and that's how that, that phrase came to be. So I do agree with that. If you hear if you hear about an assault, you gotta you gotta follow up. Yeah, you can't just bust it off like you I agree with you. Like the one bitch gonna say, you like, all right. <laughs> really? <laughs> but in, even in that case, you still gotta. You still you know gotta. I mean? You gotta investigate because, because niggas is dirty too, and a nigga will rape that girl knowing nobody gonna believe her. Right. That too. <laughs> so you gotta investigate. But but that doesn't so mean. I do, I do agree with believe all women. What I don't agree with is treating women well all the time. <laughs> <I'm laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Like being a simp or, a cuck yeah. or you know, or even just being polite. Well, like they don't I don't like you. They yeah, don't like you. Get like out my that face, is. bitch! Like I, I can say that. I right. don't. I cannot rape you. I right. shouldn't hit you. But no. I can say, get the fuck out my face, you ugly bitch. Right. And that's not assault. Right. <laughs> right. Because she gonna tell you if you too short, if right. you too fat. If right. you broke ass, nigga, right. she going to call you a little dick, nigga, even if she right. ain't seen it. Your mother got a nappy head. All <laughs> <types of> shit. <laughs> but here's, I'm going to tell you what the turning point. Here's the turning point. And I say this all the time. Amber Heard shitting in Johnny Depp's bed. That was the, mm. that was when Feminist was going. That was a, a pivotal point in the yeah, middle. That movie. was. It was like, come on, bitch. You, I mean, you can't shit in the, on a nigga's pillow. That is crazy. Uh, Introducing yeah. shit. Yeah, you. Everybody was like, you yo, can't introduce shit into into anything ever. Shit's a game changer. It's a game changer in any situation. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Harper, Harper's Bazaar did an article called "Shit Is a Game Changer." Yo, <laughs> like they did an article. <laughs> like, come on! What are you doing? What are you doing? You fucking it up. We had the upper hand. You had to shit on a nigga's pillow. Stop! I'm fucking, I'm fucking Vogue article. <laughs> Cos Cosmopolitan is right it's like it's shit is just too. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with three question marks. <laughs> real journalism. On the on the cover of Time magazine with the lady <laughs> when the, when they do that on the Time magazine is shit a game changer? <laughs> Mad different magazine. <laughs> After this episode is. <laughs> so, but here's here's what I would say. There's a as you as you get more comfortable in your skin. You don't realize how attractive that is to women because there's so much simp shit going on. That so sim is the I'm gonna just say this to the audience. Sim is who he is. Always was. There was no discernment about who he was as a person. So you like if, the third nigga who said that to me this week? Like, I don't know what that means. I'm starting to get offended. Like I don't know. <laughs> well, here's the funny thing. But here's my here's my he version like, of Yo, Sim. Sim go Sim go say some shit to you. Sim gonna do what he do, right? Here's his hey Sim. Here's my version of that. Yo, you if I've asked niggas, yo, you ever think I could be a hitman? Like, and everybody goes, and nobody had, they go, oh, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> you would absolutely kill people for money. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all not, not going to debate about it? or not, Right. No, you know, You're not going to no. weigh the pros and cons? <laughs> I you, asked Harry you never that. Want that. You never <laughs> want that jury to come back so quick. You know, you're, right. like, you, you, you're not going to deliberate at all on this? You guys don't even want, like, a lunch break? Like, nah, we're ready to rule. We're ready to no, rule. No, guys, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to go in the room and decide. Well, like, no, 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 this, have some tea, yeah. coffee, tea, give it, make it look no, good. No, we ready. Nigga, I asked Harry that. And then it was like, oh, oh, most. He was like, oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, you could do that. I could see it. You start with you know, one. You start with one, you know, it's it's always a scumbag. <laughs> You know, they make the case. You justify it to yourself. You're like, this guy right. deserves it. Harry was like, and you would be good at it. You yeah. would be. Yeah. I, I would put you in the top tier murderers 
of all time, nigga. You're, you, fish, you, you're fishing. You're <laughs> fishing. And you like gadgets. You love he, a good he gadget. He convinces them to kill themselves. He never gets <laughs> yeah. his hands dirty. He just goes and talks to him for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he didn't do nothing. But they so, always die. <laughs> So here's a here's a great so this right, well, I'm, I'm sorry before you before you continue. Go so go. When people saying that to me, where they're like, "Yo, Sim is unequivocally himself. He knows what it is." You know, like we're entertainers and we're comedians at that. So we're always 100 percent of the time in our heads. So right. I'm always just like, these niggas don't even know the shit that I'm holding back. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting thing about Sydney. You, you think, do go. These what you think? Everything coming out is that's yeah. it. No, nigga, there's more. There's, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> You, you do wonder what is the thing that Simeon is keeping to himself that he's like, this is too wild. I can't even say this out loud. That's <laughs> a crazy thing. I'd love to know what Simeon goes. That's too much. I got to keep that to myself. <laughs> right. Let me play this. Let me play the safe like, hand here. It's like with the crowd work stuff that we're doing online. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like, I'll watch, like, because we get the whole set, and then you'll, like, watch a clip. You're yeah, like, I'm you not be like, posting that. Yeah, you, be like, right, you walk in that line. I used to I'm say. Like, you crack ass bitch. You ugly <laughs> fucking whore. And I'm like, that wasn't. And the whole crowd is laughing. So it's a good clip. But yeah, you're right, like, right. nah, I don't nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's not going to get misunderstood. You learn now. You go. All you got to do is trim this front part. Get rid of that. Right. The setup part. <laughs> Godfrey, we, we we did we did Godfrey's laughs. We did Godfrey's podcast, and he was talking about this girl who was heck, you know, talking and heckling, and she said it was my birthday, and he was like, I don't give a fuck about your birthday, <laughs> right? Right. And then another chick goes, It's my friend birthday too, and you need this. You need to. Sing her happy birthday, right? Oh, and he goes, oh, I'll sing your happy birthday if I could drop kick you first, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd roars, right? But how do you how you put you that? You can't post that. You can't it's put no that clip. <laughs> because when you post that, what you're posting is you don't you're not supposed to be posting something bad. So you're posting is like, hey, watch this, and then wait for the comments to roll in. We're like, huh? You like you huh? like that? I just huh? Am I right? I just am, right? I'm kicking this bitch? am I right? Come on, am I right? Right? Who's with me? Hit that like button if you agree. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should drop kick this bitch? Like and subscribe. Comment below. <laughs> here, yo, here's the. I'm trying to get to something here, cause but it's. It's always so much fun when Sim is on the show. It's just fucking absurdly ridiculous. So, <laughs> so, but what I want to say is, so I'm, I'm, I'm with this, this chick. She goes, I'm, a, I'm with this guy, and I just don't want to go through it. And I was like, and, and you're gonna go through it again. I said, it's gonna happen again. I said, it's not gonna be as bad. I said, but until you recognize, I was like, were there any red flags? And she was like. She was like, no, I mean, not really. And then I was like, come on, you, you like, it's like a nigga that starts doing drugs. And they, you, so nobody never loved me. Nobody really, nobody told you maybe you shouldn't sell poison to your people. Right. Then. Like, right. <laughs> like, like, stop. Nobody, nobody said nothing. So she says, well, maybe, yeah, when I think about it, blah, 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 blah. So I'm sitting with her and I'm like, you got to understand that your, your gift what what you find in your old age is that your gift is your honesty. That right. I'm, I guarantee you that unmitigatedly women hit on you. They flirt with you a lot of times because you're in your own space being who you are. And there's right. such so many dudes that are simping in a way that like, oh, so they're like, you know, I, I do this joke. It's like, you can't love your girl too much because you can't have you can't fuck her properly because your girl does not want to do well, with a camera point. <laughs> <laughs> because your girl does not want you to go. Are you uh, is it too hot in here? Do you do you want some water? Am I am I am I hurting you? Like, no, no, that's disgusting. A girl is going to go. Ick. You have to have right. some sense of masculinity. And so when you're comfortable in your skin and you're even when you're even though all the stuff that you're saying you're holding up but you're being can i, say, can I yeah. say more so i'm sorry just 
more yeah, so yeah. the masculinity. Yeah. I would say you need straight aggression. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not yeah. even because masculinity is like, I'll carry the bag for you. I'm talking like violence. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it, <laughs> it has needs to be, to be a, a little bit of violence. Yes. All yes. the shit that they say. And I think that is, that's a very big thing that happened generationally, right? Because when I was little, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like preteen, and you would yeah. talk to the old heads, they was on some shit like, you punch a bitch in the belly. That's how you <laughs> back. You know what I mean? And then, like, as we got older, we was like, all right, I'm not going to punch a bitch in the belly, but I'm going to call a bitch a bitch. Right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. And now, like, these young dudes is on it where they're like, I respect your pronouns. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll yeah, stay yeah, behind yeah. you. You make the rules. And there's nothing wrong with that per se, but women se. set those rules. They and don't now they like feel it. Like they don't want that. They don't like it. So when they, they don't... meet niggas like us, like me, like I was yeah. probably the most pussy nigga coming up. Uh, you know what I mean? Out, out of the, the out most. Of... But right, I but... wasn't, like, I knew niggas who passed away, God bless the dead, who was yeah. born bitches. They would, yeah. you know, like yeah. they would see a girl and stop conversation and go. You right. know what I mean? And bad right, right. bitches. Like you would be like, nigga, where you at? And he was fucking. Yeah. That yeah. type of nigga. And that, you know, and that nigga dead down. Right, 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 <laughs> like right. right. That's, that's how he was living. Right, so right. These young women meet me and they're like, this is the most aggressive nigga I ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, like, and I'm like, bitch, no. Nigga, you never, nice you never met Kool-Aid. What's yeah. wrong with you? I was the most pleasant nigga in the squad. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, He's nice. Right. <laughs> I was like, shut up, bitch. Ha ha. And they were like, oh, Tim is a gentleman. <laughs> And that Simi, is you were third back in the day. You were third string at best, right? Of, of even, the aggressive motherfuckers. Uh, he was seven. I didn't even put on my uniform. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he never left the bench. But now I, I had the the the, the, the snap off still on the whole game. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's but, changed. It's changed a lot, man. And yeah. it, the, the the irony is that yeah. Women kind of set these parameters. And what you find when you have these conversations in private, because no one ever wants to go on the record, women don't kind of like it. They don't like it because they still want a man to be a man. And that's problematic for men because they also feel that pressure where it's like, I feel like I've, I'm supposed to do all these sensitive things and then I'm still supposed to lead at the same time. Like we're supposed to be equal, but then when it's convenient, a man is supposed to lead at the same time. And it becomes well, mentally frustrating. It, it's even worse is that one of the primary things that I think is most attractive about a man is not his six pack or his muscles or his safety. And if there's not at least a, a is if there's not even a low, low level, a, a low level uh, Protection. I, idea of violence, how can what? you protect her if you don't have it in you? Um, it, it's, you know, you see this all the time on, 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 I, I remember saw some clip where this chick was dating this MMA dude and he, he, uh, he got knocked out and he gave up and she was like, yo, the, the end, that was the end of the relationship. I'm like, and I mean, he talked about a professional MMA dude. Right. Who got knocked, he got out, knocked out by a real nigga. By a real nigga in combat right. for money. Right. And she was like, one step, I was over. She said, like, my pussy dried up. I couldn't. Right. So I'm I'm sitting with this sweet girl and I'm talking to her about her red. Her uh, I'm, at, uh, I'm at New York Comedy Club talking about her red flags, how she ignored the red flags. And I said, um, but you got to Your honesty is the most important thing. I said, because what she's talking about is dishonesty. The reason why her feelings are hurt is because she's she's dealt with a nigga who's dishonest. And a guy who's honest enough to say what he thinks and deal with the consequences of it never gets those consequences. So I'm sitting over in the corner. This chick comes over and she's with a dude like three. This is three chicks in a row with a dude. Right. The first one comes over. She says, oh, I'm mulatto. And I'm not. Uh, so all the rest of that. And I'm like, she already got a identity crisis. So she's trying to be. She's trying to be blacker than black. She's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the Bronx, blah, 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 blah. Right? She kind of look white, maybe Italian. I don't It's a mix. It's a, it's a. Everybody call her a slur. Right, right. She may got a different slur for her. 
<laughs> so she said, yo, you killed it. Yo, I'm saying you killed it. Blah, blah, blah. And I go, you got to, I go, you got to, that's a really pretty dress you have on, right? Just straight up compliment. And she was like, oh, this, this spear beer on the back, whatever, blah, blah, blah. she's going on. And I grab her hand and I hold it and I look her in the eyes and I go, you got to learn to take the compliment. I'm giving you a compliment. I yeah, go, yeah. you, you got to learn to take a compliment. I said, you deserve the compliment. And I need you to slow down and listen to what I'm saying yeah. and take the compliment. And she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that happens a lot after shows. Yeah, where people just like want to say something to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they nervous. They like, yeah, yeah. oh, don't make fun of me. Da, da, da. It's like, yeah. nigga, that's my job. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like on stage, it's I'm it on is, duty. It is. But like, yeah. I'm not gonna come on stage and be like, yeah. Well, that's not true. I do. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, it's not like you don't be nervous, right? It's also, it's also, you're not that important. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you you think you know you get your people going don't make fun of me don't take that on your act don't put that in your sketch right like, dog get there's nothing about I have a you set. <laughs> I I don't need you to do this I've been doing this 20 years I don't need you 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 you're self aggrandizing yourself about something that yeah. you're not really that important you're not funny you're not that interesting. Right. I, I got to rewrite this whole scenario to make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> and find the, the little gold nugget right. in it that makes it. Right. I can't just parrot the conversation. Like, yeah. I got to <laughs> like, fuck out of here. So he, he, but she was like, yo, you're such a, and she was like, yo, you was the best. Listen, let me hug you, right? And so she hugs me, and then then her dude comes out, and she was like, he's like, oh, yo, you would have bet, yo, we, yo, right. yo you would have fun, da, da 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 da, and he was, she was like, yeah, we was kicking in, we was saying, and she said, can I hug you again? And I'm like, uh, now here's the thing, Sim. Now it's getting weird. I'm not a dude that you hug twice. Don't hug Without- me twice. <laughs> Dick is hard. <laughs> You like you trying to fuck? I, uh, there's nothing about me that looks platonic. Like right. if you 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 not I'm going on to... that time and too. Like we not homies. <laughs> like this is pre fucking. We like we just <laughs> didn't fuck yet. <laughs> and I already <laughs> fucked you up here. I already got my whole all my moves laid. Right, out. I'm mapping shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching. The, I'm watching the tapes. The the past. Right. Ta- it's like right. You're done. And she's like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then she brings the dude over. And then let me let me hug you for the third. I was like, nigga, stop. Then another yeah. little, then another little cutie comes up. Oh my God, he enjoyed you so much. Now she slides out to the bathroom. She gotta go to the bathroom. But now the dude ain't there. She slides over. She's talking to me, shakes Jesus. my hand, holds my right. Then another chick comes out, right? And and so the little shorty was like, what the fuck are you, what, like, what you, what are you doing? Like, what was, because I'm not even chasing them. Yeah. You know, I'm just sitting in the corner, like, yeah. did my work and sat back. And what you find is that masculinity, that honesty of being in, being yourself and being comfortable to be yourself, that honesty of understanding them knowing you a dude who says what you mean and mean what you say is the attraction. And that's our whole job. That's all we do. That's all we do. Every day. All you know what do. I mean? Which is crazy. I've been on some real shit. Like, you know, like I, as a comedian, like I fantasize about shit. Like I'll be fantasizing about getting like a regular job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just that's, that's your fantasy. Right. That's, I want to hear more about this fantasy, <laughs> Simeon. What, 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 what like, is yo, it? Is it suit and tie? Like, you selling like, insurance? I'm, I'm like zip recruiter, and they right. send emails. They'd be like, security guard, seventy thousand a year. I'd be like, that sounds good. Yeah, I could do that. You wear that's penny like loafers? You got penny loafers on? Nah, no, I don't. I'm not prepared. I don't have no work. I can't no, work. I'm saying in your dream. In your dream, is it? Penny loafers and a and a nice. It's, we not nah. It's, it's it's like coveralls. It's like man's work. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Like, 
So you got a helmet? You know I mean? Like I'm on I'm on the factory floor with a uh, clipboard and a and helmet. A helmet, right? And, uh, right. And I'm like, good, good work, Johnson. With a shirt uh, rolled up with the rolled up sleeve. You got the sleeve. <laughs> Three more hours that we out of here, man. You're doing a great job. Like I got the princess. I show this nigga how to do shit. Like, that's, <laughs> like, here go one now. Picker packer at a send off. All right. <laughs> But, so, but I, all right, the only reason I brought that up, right, is because I also that's also how I fantasize about women. Like, I, like I don't want to fuck women at shows no more. Like, my fantasy woman is like some woman who has no idea what I do. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, like, it's just so interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but she just like likes me, and then. You know, maybe even find out later that I'm a comic, and she's like, "Oh, that's a red flag." And I'm like, "No, baby, but I could change. I, I'm gonna get a job on the factory floor." In your in your own fantasy, the woman that this is my fantasy issues. where like I settle down and become like a suburban, boring. <laughs> Working for Liberty Mutual with business cards right. in your handout. Oh, Middle management. I got a mortgage. I got I got a car that I can't afford. <laughs> My wife loves it. <laughs> you, you got a push mower. You want to one day make enough money to get a sit no, down mower. I got the ride mower, son. You got the ride mower already out got, the gate. Oh, not out the gate. You're right. I'm working for it. I'm working. <laughs> working, I'm working. working. You, you go in the you go to Home Depot and you look at it every <laughs> day. Right. I, touch it. I touch it every day. <laughs> like, this one looking good. It's still here, huh? This is Toro, huh? They got the Toro. Oh, they added. Oh, they added the one point turn. <laughs> this got a mulcher too. They have the mulcher. The, the mulcher add on. This is what I fantasize about at like five a.m. <laughs> high on every drug. Can't sleep. <laughs> some, some girl I don't even like next to me. I'm like, this ain't life. You know what life is? It's coveralls. <laughs> coveralls and a ride on motor. Right. Right. I got my Sim- little suburban. Simeon wants to go out in his like Bermuda shorts with the loafers and just talk to the other dads. <laughs> right. About like wh- how the lawn situation is. And then- right. This is, what you know, this is bluegrass. This shop in this mall. That's the bad one. They got the good one over at. <laughs> Simeon do his taxes in 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 March, early March. He does his taxes are done. What, what do you mean? My shit's <laughs> ready to go all year. I can drop my shit anytime. Simeon <laughs> wants to just have bifocals that he puts on to read the phone bill. <laughs> Some reading glasses. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who, who, ordered, ho- who ordered Hotel Transylvania on demand? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. That's, that's what I fantasize about <laughs> after a bad day of work in comedy. <laughs> and you and you at the cellar hanging out with Chappelle and Michael Shea right. and popping <laughs> bottles. And he's just drifting off. Simi is looking off in the corner. He's like, "What's he thinking about?" So quiet. Why is he so quiet? <laughs> you have the, have the bubble with the Toro in the bubble. Just. <laughs> The ride mode. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom getting my dick sucked. Like, this ain't it. This, this is not it. This is not what life seems to be. <laughs> this is not what life should be. <laughs> I should be bored in the suburb. Just get, you're getting your dick sucked while you're thinking about staying in the deck. <laughs> it's like, it's right, mm. Waterproofing. Got a waterproof. <laughs> She's like some, some whore bitch. She's like, what are you thinking about? I'm like nothing. Doing nothing. <laughs> and then she's like, I just, I just can't figure you out. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come on the podcast. You're like, Simmons, man, he's he's out there. He's crazy. Man. <laughs> the whole time I was just dreaming about a picket fence. Like, man, one day I'm with Godfrey, and he got a chick with him, and and he goes, he says to me. We in the car playing old school jams, right? So I played War from Galaxy, right? Okay. It's out of sight. It's out of sight. And then he he hits me with one way, first choice, one way, right? So we're going back and forth <laughs> on old jams. And 
And then uh, she goes, I, I just can't figure you guys out. Like, still waters run deep. And I'm like, sometimes it's just still because there's nothing underneath the water. <laughs> it's just water. It's the Loch Ness. There's nothing but the <laughs> There's no monster. No, it's just still water and driftwood. <laughs> this is a big ass. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, Sim, <laughs> cut, yo plug. we're going to do the Patreon after this. But um, I want to get into No, well, we're going to do the, the, the after Patreon. Oh, draw. I know man, this is going to be really about quick. I'm not going to lie. I'll be looking at, you know, you send an invite. Be like, we're going to be like an hour. I'll be like, an hour? Fuck. Yeah, that <laughs> shit, nigga. You, you know, you that get up. that shit be gone. This <laughs> shit up, that man. shit was poof. Nigga, you would, <laughs> it felt like you were still rolling. <laughs> right. Like, I was like, all right, when we going to start? We start today? <laughs> plug it, plug your shit, and then we're going to do the Patreon on the other side. All right. So, July 26th. I don't know when this drops, but July 26th. I'm at Caveat. I got a double header. It's uh, 6.30. That one is called Sim. That's just regular material practice. You know, you do the rounds, you practice, you set. So we're going to do that one. We're filming that. Then the second one is called Simeon Goodson Exists. That's the 9.30 show. That one, we're getting litty. We're smoking blunts. We're drinking. We might have some illegal substances for ourselves. And then we're going to do crowd work. So we're going to get fucked up. It's just you or... Ooh. I got I got my peoples with me. The first show, I got my man Javon Johnson. He going to host. And I got Ruby Carp, the fucking okay. Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I fucking love her so much, so I had to put her on. And then the second show, I got uh, Terry in Trinidad. I don't know. Do you know who that is? No, nah, no. Nah. She's a new shorty from Brooklyn, but she's, like, buzzing. Like, I've never seen her set. But she's mm -hmm. like buzzing, like you know the hood circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like I still try and stay in tune with them. Yeah, yeah. And she's one of those on just every hood circuit to fly. So it's like right. you know that that's relevant. So I brought her out, and then I got um Phil Duck. You know oh, Phil Duck. Phil's out is fucking my crazy Phil. Yeah. Crazy so this is with Phil. Me and Phil live in a very similar world where we always got the host. You know we always right, host right, the right, show, right, right, and we right. never get a chance to run our sets. So for the second one, I'm going to be fucked up and, you know, I'm going I'm to host that one and then he's going to close it out. So we're going to let Phil do a set, which is I don't even know if niggas seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm I'm excited to see that. I think and what, the 26th and where's it at? Where's it going to be at? It's at Caveat. Caveat, New where's York, that? 21A, 21A Clinton Street. Okay. Uh, in the city downtown. So wipe your nose. You know, wipe, your nose we... wipe your nose. Yeah. I got excited. Yeah. Edit that You're out. Good now. <laughs> so all right. So I want to come, man. Hit me with a hit me with something. Yeah, I got you. I want to come through. That'll be fun. Right. Phil Phil Duck breaks breaks people's brain, nigga. Sometimes. Yeah. He and says shit. He you be like, what, nigga? What'd you say? He'd be, he'd be crazy, but Harry, talk to me. Uh, you could go to all my social media at Harry Turjanian uh, at uh, on YouTube and TikTok, and also this weekend I'm going to be in Newark headlining the uh, Comedy Diner in Newark, New Jersey. It's a nice new spot. It's worth checking out this Friday to, uh, and Saturday. So, uh, yeah, July uh, 21st and 22nd. Yo, all my stuff, you know Dante Nero. Google me, bitch. You know what it is. And uh, follow the, the Look, YouTube. the kids don't even know what that means no more. <laughs> <laughs> check my link tree. How's that? That's better. Hey, there, there you go. go. Uh, check check all my stuff out. You know the consultations, DanteNero.com. Click on consult. You can get me, talk to me, and solve your problems and whatever. Give you this wisdom and all my mistakes so you don't make them. Uh, don't forget the Patreon, Man School 202. Uh, www.patreon.com slash school 202 GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution being podcasted? Yo, I love y'all. We out. Check us on the other side, man. Sim and them, we're going to dig in a little deeper on the other side. Peace. Let's go.